Europe economic corridor. Uh, this this was initiated in 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 the summit. How do you see this, sir? Yeah, this was a new development. I think while something like the admission of the African Union was expected, even telegraphed well before the summit, uh, and whereas even some of the other agreed language on debt relief, on sustainable development, and so on, all of that can be advertised as successful, but it it, it doesn't really connect to any concrete outcome so far. Uh, it's just uh, you know capable, pious uh, platitudes, one might say. Uh, which were well done, no problem with it. But at the same time, uh, one could definitely argue that that alone does not give us um, uh, enough to be celebrating. The uh, the India Middle East EU uh, uh, initiative is completely new, not something that was anticipated earlier, and that has tremendous potential for the future, provided it is implemented properly. The worry about many international summits uh, is very often that in our country, we've also seen this, that you have a summit, you focus on agreeing a declaration and you get a triumphant uh, uh, result in terms of agreed language, but then implementation never follows. We've seen, for example, on issues like the availability of development financing or the uh, promises by rich countries to contribute towards climate change efforts in the developing world, that there is excellent language in many summits going back 15 years, but none of this has actually been implemented. The sums promise has never come and action has not resulted. So I would say on this one, it's a welcome initiative, but the proof of the pudding, as the cliche goes, is in the eating. We will have to see how well this is implemented um, in our country and, and in the other countries that are part of this initiative. So, so, so uh, very shortly, I want to, before wrapping up, I want to ask you, do you think that India managed to handle the Ukraine-Russia crisis uh, 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 in, in the dialogues and at the same time, <laughs> You have also praised uh, India's G20 Sherpa Amitabh Khan in a tweet on Delhi Declaration uh, consensus. Yeah, I, I'm in touch with both Amitabh Khan, the G20 Sherpa, and with our foreign minister, and I would congratulate them because what they have done is certainly very, very good for India. Uh, it is not easy to pull off uh, a diplomatic negotiation like this. They both seem to put in a lot of hard effort, and I think one should give credit where credit is due. Uh, some of the other things that I've, I've expressed to you, uh, which are less positive, I've also expressed to them. But as far as the achievement of actually squaring the circle, which is an impossible task almost on Ukraine is concerned, uh, it's really very, very impressive. Because for nine months, we were genuinely facing at every one of, for example, the finance minister's meeting, the foreign minister's meeting, etc. There was no agreement. And the positions seemed to be getting farther apart rather than closer together. So it really was an extremely effective uh, 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 achievement to pull this off. And I will not hesitate to compliment uh, those uh, led by uh, Amitabh Kant and, and Foreign Minister Gershankar. I will not hesitate to compliment those who worked hard to pull this off because it wasn't an easy thing to pull off.